Don't tell me that you know because you don't. You're just saying it for the sake of saying it. I'm not saying it just for the sake of saying it. It's been a long and tiring day, and I come back to this. What do you expect me to say? I don't expect you to say anything. I just want you to listen. I do listen. No, you don't. I myself am feeling tired. This whole thing about losing our child and now feels like you're drawing away from me. Feels like we lost so much more than our child. I know what you mean. No, you don't, Peter. You don't even care. It's not that I don't care. This whole thing is weighing me down. And I'm trying so hard to cope with this as well. In this marriage, you're not the only one doing this, Peter. You have changed, Peter. You have changed. Peter, you may now say your vows. I can't promise that I won't change, but I've seen how love is. For this, I can promise you. Love bears all things, so I will share the weight of your burden, not to leave you alone and to protect you. Love believes all things, so I will believe in regardless of the decisions that you make. Love hope all things, so I will gladly stand here waiting for you through your challenges with joy and confidence to let you know that you are not alone. Lastly, love endures all things, so I promise to cherish you, to love you steadfastly through all times. All these things I have learned throughout my life. In preparation to love, as how God has loved me in sickness and in health for richer and for poorer only till death do us part Peter, I can't promise you that I won't argue with you, but I will support you to cast aside all my selfishness to believe in you. Why? Because you are the man whom I have learned to trust over with my life. To defend me, to lead me, you who have shown me faith in times of desperation, because you have shown me confidence and hope in times of sorrow and above all this you have shown me love that is kind that does not envy is not self-seeking and has endured till this day and I shall trust you with my life for it is love that binds us through thick and thin through sickness and health for richer or poorer and that love which God has shown you and I will sustain us. This is my soul and power to you. Love is patient. It is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. Love does not behave rudely. It does not seek of its own. It is not provoking. It thinks of no evil. And love does not delight in evil. It rejoices in the truth truth shall set you free. Love always believes, always protects, always hopes, always perseveres. And these three remains, faith, hope, love. The greatest of these is love. Peter, you may now kiss your bride.